given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Hello, hello my lovely and beautiful nail friends, welcome back to a new video. So in this video we have another Glitter Girls collaboration and this video is doing uh, a Disney design. And I was practicing um, some Disney designs, first I wanted to do Mickey Mouse because I have some Mickey foils, really cute, but I decided to do Belle and the Beast. And I found, let me see some stamping plates I have from Disney so this really big one from Aliexpress with different figures on here really cute and also these two from um, Mundo L something but I will leave the website down below and I ordered some more there but they have all different designs it's um, stamping business located in Mexico but they have really cute cheap um, stamping plates and they work amazing so I have this princesses four and I have this beauty and the beast one and some of these images I really like so I'm gonna use this one because I really really like this one and the images on this one is really really cute so here we have Belle and an image of Belle as well and I really like this plate so that's why I wanted to do this one and I created a set on my poppy right here and I love this one and I thought this set was so freaking amazing so I'm gonna do this same set on video and on my own nails I already did my thumbnail and I'm gonna do this with press on nails so we leave poppy in frame and first thing we are going to do is put some press on nails on my nails and these are just some square or coffin ones from Aliexpress and they work really really nice they are a little bit more these are plastic but they are really really firm so I like that so the first thing you want to do is prep your nails I already did that and now I will go in with some acid free nail primer and I will do two coats of this on my nails just to dehydrate, dehydrate your nail so your product will stay on and also if you fit your press on nails on your nail you want to make sure they go from side wall to side wall so here are my nails and if you want them to stick nice on your nails, you want to file the inside of this where your nail is going to be. So here is just... A bit with a sanding band. I'm going to use my electric e-file. And I freaking love this one. And there will be a link for this one in my description box as well so we're gonna click this one in thin out the cuticle area and the sides little brush right here to take off extra dust so don't, you don't get any dust in your gel and I got number seven on my pinky um, number four on my pointer finger and ring finger and a number three three I'm saying it right yeah number three on my middle finger so that's how big my fingers are so the next thing you want to do 
is take your base coat and I'm gonna use my model once base coat right here and I'm gonna put a layer of base coat on my own nail and a small layer on the tip and I have this little flashlight right here from AliExpress as well and with this flashlight I'm gonna flash cure each nail before I'm gonna cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds so I'm gonna turn this on put it upside down we are going to start with my pinky put a layer on my own finger and a layer inside the tip and I'm, and I'm gonna put the flashlight in my mouth really really hygienic I know but You want to make sure it's straight with no bubbles and here is the nail and you're gonna do this with all, all of your nails and then we are going to put it in the lamp for a full 60 seconds to cure the nails completely so I will be right back So here they are and they are cured for 60 seconds so the next thing you want to do is grab your hand file and just take off these little small edges right here and you want to file the side walls and also we are going to take our e-file and buff up the surface of these nails just to give the gel some grip layer to hold on to. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to file the side walls, file the top of the tip and buff up the nail. So we'll speed this part up and I will be right back. So here we have our nails filed, buffed and nice and neat and I know this one looks crooked but my finger is crooked like crazy so like this they are straight like this my finger will point this way, I hate this. So the next thing you want to do 
is put a layer of base coat on your nails and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds before you go in with any color. So that is what we are going to do. First I'm gonna clean my hands, wash my hands and then we are going in with a layer of base coat. We'll be right back. Uh, yeah. Washed my hands, stay clean. So we are going in with another layer of base coat and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. So the color will go on nice and smooth. So as a background color we are going to use a white and I'm gonna use this cream a white from model once and after applying this layer of white we are going to cure this in the lamp again for 60 seconds. So because we are going in with alcohol ink to create this vintage look, we are going to put some top coat on here and we are going to put Princess Nails by Diana Her matte top coat on these and cure that for 60 seconds in the lamp so we can work with our alcohol inks. We put matte top coat on here, so now we are going in with two colors from AliExpress and these are all alcohol inks and this is a brownish one and we have a yellow one and we are going to start with our brown. Let me see if I can use my lamp as a place to put my hand on. We are going to start with the brown. And then go in with the yellow and place dots on the sides. So we increase the darker lights to the inside. And back in with the darker color just to create a little bit more lines here and there. Mm. 
there we go we got some old looking nails right here and we are going to let this dry and I want to show you these and this is a pack of foils I got from Aliexpress and I freaking love them they are so freaking cute but I will do a video on Aliexpress foils really soon and then I will show each and every design more in depth but for this design we are going to use these little roses right here and these are so freaking cute look at that and I will cut off a little piece we are going to use in this video right now so I can put the rest back in the little container So we are going to start with the easiest nail and that is my pinky nail and that is just a full nail like my thumbnail with the flower design. So I will go in with my Mubcart foil glue and put that on my pinky completely and give that a cure in the lamp for 60 seconds before applying the foil. And then you want to place your foil on your nail and if you have good foil and a good foil glue it will go on that freaking easy look at that it's so freaking cute and we also hit my skin a little bit we are going to file that away before I ruin anything else on the design. I will top coat this baby right here and cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds so we can go to our second nail. And I will use my Model 1's top coat in this situation. So that is cured and completely beautiful. It looks amazing. Don't mind this. I need some cuticle oil. So we are going in for our next nail. And we are going to do my pointer finger. And on my pointer finger we are going in with some gold. And this little gold embellishments right here. And this I got from Aliexpress and it's really really cute so we are going to use this one right there and also with this gold right here I got from a giveaway I thought it was Catherine Ford I won her giveaway and I think this was from her and last time I opened it I spilled so much I hated myself so we are going to use our major digit bling gel if I can open it and we are going to put this on the entirety of the nail like so and you can choose to top coat it and then put everything on but you also can decide to create your design on this cure it in the lamp and then top coat it and that's the way I'm gonna do it because here I, on this hand I top coated it and then put the stones on and slide it in the lamp but this um, is on my own hand and I use my hand quite a lot so if I put top coat first and lay it in the top coat there's chance it will go off easier because after if you put top coat on after um, he will sink in the stones a little bit more and he will put a layer around the stones with top coat so that's the way I'm gonna do it right now so we are going to start with the rose in the center of my nail really cute and then we are going to try to put some gold stones here using the bigger ones they are too big for my nail 
it will cut my hair stuck in my trousers and everything and that's something I don't want And if you like the way it looks, you will cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds again. And then we are going to seal everything in with some top coat. So there is some top coat around the stones and everything. So let's do that part. So there we go and I top coated the stones a little bit too so it, they won't be as sharp. So the next thing we are going to do is this nail and this nail is uh, this one and I really really like this one. It's so freaking pretty. So we are going to use this stamping plate and this design right here. You see this one. So I'm gonna Take my nail polish remover and clean my plate. Get my favorite stamper out. Some black stamping polish. A scraper and a lint roller just in case there we go and we are going to put this one on the nail right there so slide these aside no, I think I'm gonna stamp this one too. Hmm, but we are going to use because I really love this one. But I think I'm gonna go in with another one. Let me see, let me check. I think I'm gonna go in with this one and then put Belle on top. There we go. Love this. So the next thing we are going to do is put this floral foil around this cute thing. Stamp right here. So we are going to take our McCart foil glue again. Go around the stamp. And this one is ready so we are going to top coat this one so we can cure both at the same time and also with stamping you want to make sure your stamp image on your nail is completely dry because if it's still wet and you go in with top coat or anything else you will smear your design completely out and that would be such a shame if you have a beautiful design so you can start all over again 
So we're gonna cure these in the lamp for 60 seconds again. So cute! So we are going back in with our foil and press it around a bell. There we go. And then the last thing we are going to do is put some more stones, but this time around the bell. So we are going in with our bling gel again. And put a small amount around the bell. Our gold stones again. Cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds and then top coat it around the stones. So you seal in bell the stones and the foils. So to top it all off we are going to put some self-made cuticle oil and hopefully I will have that video up real soon as well so I can show you how I made my cuticle oil and we are going to put everything on these crusty really dry cuticles right here so what I want to know from you guys what you think of this design I think it's so freaking freaking cute right here so now Poppy and I are matching nails. Look at that, how cute. I freaking love this set right here. So please let me know what you think and go check out the videos of the other beautiful ladies. I can't wait to see what they create for this design and hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you in my next one. For now I'm gonna say Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and truth to be.